about, uh, again, about six, seven years ago, based on doing a lot of breast nutri check tests, based on identifying nutritional deficiencies in women who had abnormal thermograms, I created a couple of bespoke nutritional supplements, one called Dr. E Nutri Plus, excuse me, but forgive the Dr. E, but uh, Dr. E Nutri Plus and Estra Balance. And I basically now use these routinely with women who have abnormal thermograms. Now I'm going to show you the transition of three women with abnormal thermograms. So here's the first one. This is a woman who, and I'm only showing you her abnormal breast. So this is her thermogram of her right breast. And where you see red, that's significant temperature difference, okay? Yellow is moderate temperature difference. So the, 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 this is the cooling map. It just shows that all of those areas cool because the correct way to do thermography is to have a cold challenge to see if there is an abnormal response to cooling. So if you're going to do thermography correctly, you should have what we call a dynamic thermal challenge so that you look at the response to cooling as well. So all of those areas cooled, but she had a, t a four rating. One and two is normal. Four and five are high risk. She had a four rating on the right breast. And it, this is her between December and October. She's now normal. Yes, she still has some moderate heat at her nipple, but she's basically gone from high risk to low risk in nine months. Here's another one, same scenario, 53-year-old woman this time, uh, and she has a TH5 in her right breast, all those areas cool, but here she is between April and October, six months later, having a normal scan. And here's the third one, I could show you more, but I've just picked three out. This is a woman who did have a family history of breast cancer, age 60, and she is a TH4, this time on her left breast, Again, the areas do cool, but here she is with no thermal activity six months later. Now, I propose to you that is the way to change the game with breast cancer risk. Non-invasively, non-toxic, non-hormonally, intervening with only key nutrients, and important lifestyle changes, and within six months, and I'm seeing this, 95% of abnormal thermograms are returning to normal. Now you may say, well, some of those people may not have had cancer. They may just have had something else benign going on in their brain. You'd be right, you'd be right. But what I'm saying is, these are women, if we left them, are going to be at increasing risk over the years. Now, ethically, why should we wait? Let's just intervene non-invasively and change this woman's risk. And then when she's reached a normal scan, bring her back 12 months later and monitor her breast thermally to make sure they're remaining normal. That's the way to change the game. So that's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. My mission is to make this available, not just countrywide, but Europe-wide, worldwide.